hi, how have you been? I can't even tell you how much I have missed posting videos on my YouTube channel. It's been about a good seven months, eight months, oh, since I've been consistent with posting. And for a while I was on quite a roll, but all of a sudden it came to just eat screeching halt. And I'm gonna give you a 10 second reason as to why that is. Basically in April of 2021, I became the freelancing beauty editor of Cosmopolitan Middle East Magazine, the freelancing beauty editor of Grazia Middle East Magazine, and the freelancing skincare editor for celebrity dermatologist, Dr. Jason Emmer, all in one month. So my life came to a screeching halt, a very exciting halt, but everything outside of my beauty writing just took a massive backseat. And I told myself in January 2022, I'm starting up again, is already the 25th of the month. And I said to myself, Lauren, you do it today. So here I am with you. And by the way, my name is Lauren O'Connell. I live in Dubai. I'm a mom of two. I have a 12 year old and a 10 year old. My husband sometimes is my third child. If you know, you know. And I have a new puppy as well. We also just moved to a new villa in Dubai and life has just been all kinds of exciting and just crazy busy. I want to put out a disclaimer because let me tell you, sometimes the comments just get insane. Let's talk about Botox, neuromodulators, injections, etc. First of all, if you want to just put tons of Botox in your skin, I support you. If you want to use no Botox, you're against it. I support you. You got to do you. I do me. For me, I've had Botox twice now. I get baby Botox. I have a video documenting it and I get it only right here because I noticed now when I smile, I started getting these tiny little emerging crow's feet. When I say tiny, I mean tiny. They were really small, but they were there. I saw them and I didn't want to have them. So the last time I had the Botox was, I want to say the beginning of November. So I'll probably be due again sometime end of February, March ish. I can't even think that far ahead. But as far as my forehead, I have nothing in my forehead. I promise you, if I did, I tell you, I would absolutely tell you. I just don't. You can see I can move my forehead all around. The thing is when I'm talking, I just don't move my eyebrows. I have no idea why. It was the woman who does my micro needling facials. She pointed it out to me and I said, oh yeah, you're right. But I just don't move my eyebrows. I don't know why, but look, if I did, you can see that <laughs> I have free range. So that's just something about me. And I promise you the day I get my forehead injected, you'll be the first to know. So enough of me talking and let's get into my morning skincare. This is what I do every single morning of my life. And prior to the morning skincare, I always put one of these towels on after I shower. It's been on for a little while right now is preparing for this video but I do have a review on this and these things changed my life. This is by a brand called Akis and there are these microfiber towels that just soak up all of the excess moisture in your hair and essentially you get a shorter blow dry time if you're blow drying your hair that day. I'm obsessed with them because it's honestly just saved me time. There's this new one, this is the one I have. I just bought this the other day off Sephora here in Dubai, I live in the Middle East, by the way, I'm from Connecticut, USA. I've been in Dubai for 13 years, but I uh, bought this one and it's a little bit different, not too crazy about the color, but it has some sort of copper infusion and basically it's antimicrobial. And that's just because once you're done with it, it's wet and it hangs usually in a bathroom. And I guess they must've had complaints about other ones smelling badly, although to be honest, mine never has, but this is the new one and it has this antimicrobial thing going on. So there's no, <laughs> so you don't have any new friends growing. My other one, I've had this for, I want to say at least like three or four years. I still use it all the time. It's been great. So awesome investment if you're looking for something like that. All right. And I quickly just put on this little terry cloth I don't even know what you call these things, hair band. And that's just so my hair's out of my face while I'm doing this video. I do want to apologize if the sound quality isn't fabulous. 
I broke my microphone while I was trying to <laughs> get this video together because I am pretty rusty with all my equipment. So every morning, I always wash my face. First thing I do is wash my face even before I have my coffee and coffee is everything to me in the morning. So if I'm in the shower, of course, you know, I'll wash my face in the shower, it's so easy. If not, I wet my palms with cold water. I find that the cold just gives my skin a little bit of an extra jolt and I like to think it plumps it up a bit. I don't know if it does, but I tell myself it does. And I just get my water, uh, my water, I just get my skin nice and damp. Then I use my cleanser. Now, as a beauty editor, you can imagine how much stuff is sent to me. I feel like I get the entire Sephora store, Ulta and Walgreens, any drugstore, I have everything, it's insane. But one that I just absolutely love, I buy this for myself if I need to, and it's the Sunny Riley Ceramic Slip. I have incredibly dry skin, and I find that this product deeply cleanses my skin while not stripping it of its moisture and letting it still feel soft and smooth. It, I do wanna say I am an ingredient freak. I have researched all ingredients in skincare. I know all the ingredients in skincare. And there are so many ingredients I won't use on my skin. And if you browse through my channel, you'll see I have a lot of content on that. But all of the products I'm showing you today have only the very best of ingredients in them. And it's things that I will only use on my skin. And I did notice that now that I'm 39, to be honest with you, my skin looks better at 39 than it did at 25. So the ingredients in your skincare products will take you a really, really, really long way. Before I used to use things that were laden with fragrance, perfume, because I just didn't know any better. I didn't do enough research into it. I used stuff that had different types of alcohols in it, the pro-drying, pro-aging alcohols, and that stuff just stripped my skin. Now, I also always, oof, I wanna keep this modest. My, my dad watches my channel sometimes. I always like, and I forgot to do this as I'm just babbling, but I like to treat my chest and my neck the same way that I treat my face. So that means that whatever I'm putting on my face, I also put on my chest and my neck because there's nothing worse than having your face just look so fresh and beautiful. And then, you know, it's almost like you're wearing a mask because you just didn't take care of your neck and your chest. If you haven't yet in your life and you're just starting now, it's never, ever, Ever too late and you can always reverse damage that happened. I'm going to use this amazing little towel I have from Nude, Nude Skin. Now you can see there's a little, oops. I'm gonna use this amazing little towel that I have from Nude Skin. Now you can see there's a little black mark on it, big black mark, and that's from my 12 year old because I said to her this afternoon, I was making her lunch, I said, uh, I'm sorry, did you do your skincare this morning? And she was like, oh, I forgot. So she goes upstairs and the towel that I had set aside for these videos today is the one she decided to use. So, I mean, I'm happy she did the skincare. She has a little bit of acne now, she's 12 years old. So I have her using Carbon Theory. I don't know if you've seen this brand before. If you have a preteen or a teenager in your life, or even if you yourself have uh, acne, this is a great line of products to treat it. It has tons of charcoal and tea tree in it, which just sucks everything out. I actually met the founder and he was lovely and very passionate about his brand. So I have my daughter using some Carbon Theory products and so far, so good. So I just give my chest a good rinse. I hope I'm keeping the right eye contact in this video. I used to have a much more sophisticated setup, but you know what, I just gotta get, I just gotta do this. Otherwise I just, I will just keep putting it off and ugh, I get so mad at myself. So here we go. All right, skin is just looking very fresh. And FYI, there are no edits on this video. There's no filters or anything. This is just me. And it's now ready for all the wonderful ingredients I'm gonna put on it that's going to keep my skin moisturized, hydrated, have anti-aging benefits, and protect my skin from the harmful effects of the sun and 
That includes the UVA and UVB rays. And remember, if you are just staying home all day, you still gotta wear sunscreen everywhere, sunblock everywhere, because the UVA rays are the ones that damage your collagen and they can pass through the windows. So just keep that in mind. Okay. All right. Twice a week, I have started doing this about four months-ish ago. I've been using a glycolic toner on my skin. Now, glycolic is an alpha hydroxy acid, and what it does is it's going to remove all of the dead skin cells. It also helps to instigate cell turnover. So with continued use, your skin will get firmer over time and it's going to look clearer, more plumped up, more youthful. The one that I really like to use is this new skin. This has glycolics in it. It also has fruit enzymes, which in my opinion, just gives it a little bit extra push for that amazing exfoliation. It has really changed my skin. If you don't have access to this one, for whatever reason, I did get this little sample. This was a beauty thing, a beauty editor thing. This is Summer Fridays. The packaging is really hard to read, but it's the Soft Reset AHA Exfoliating Solution. It's essentially a similar product, and this one is great too. I've used it. I don't know if you can see the reflection, but it's down to about here. I used it for about a week and I really liked it, but this one is my favorite. So I take one of these sustainable uh, pads. I don't know what you call these things. I like to use the ones that I can just more or less throw in the wash and keep reusing. And this is just a nice soft hairy cloth. I put the product, give it a couple pumps. I've done more than I should, but I think that's just because I'm talking. And anyways, I just kind of rub it on my skin. Now, of course, I also do it on my neck and my chest, my forehead. It does feel a little prickly sometimes when I'm doing it, and that's okay. If I was putting this on and my skin was full out burning, that would mean that it's either damaging my skin barrier or I already have an issue with my skin barrier. A couple prickles, and when I say prickles, it doesn't hurt, it's just, it just feels a little spicy for a minute after you apply is totally fine. And if you do have age spots on your chest, your face, this will help to get rid of them. It's going to minimize the appearance of them. So this is a great product. Life hack, I use this sometimes on my arms and legs too when I'm doing one of those big <laughs> extravagant nights on my shoulders. And I'll try to get my husband to rub some on my back, but this is actually a great body product too. So, all right, I now have my toner on and I only do this twice a week because I have dry skin. Glycolic can be a little bit hardcore for it. It's the most strong, or it's the strongest form of alpha hydroxy acids because it's really small molecules. So it penetrates very deeply into the skin. The next thing I do, sorry, I'm being very aware of the time I spend because I don't want to waste anyone's time by just babbling on, but I mean, it is what it is. This is the CEO Glow by Sunday Riley. And this is the face oil, but I'm using it as a face serum on my skin and I do this every single morning. Now, what's really nice about this oil is number one, it's super lightweight and it has active ingredients in it. So I wanna put this to have, I want this to have direct contact with my fresh cleansed skin. And this is gonna be a little extra special because I have the glycolic uh, toner that I just did. So it's gonna penetrate very deeply into my skin. What's great about this particular product is the vitamin C derivative that they use, always put extras on the back of your hands, is the vitamin C derivative they use is called tetrahexyl decyl ascorbate. I know that's a mouthful. It's called THD ascorbate for short. It is phenomenal. It's a phenomenal, my favorite vitamin C. Uh, derivative because it works just like ascorbic acid, which is the most potent form of vitamin C. But this one is incredibly stable, which means you'll save more money because your product isn't going to turn on you so quickly. Typically with vitamin, pure vitamin C, once you open the top, air gets in and it just starts oxidizing and it'll go rancid on you. And you'll know it because when you use it on your face or your neck, you're going to have a lot of irritation. 
This one, it does, that doesn't happen with, it's very stable. It's also very, very small. The molecules are tiny, so it's able to sink deep within the skin and really work its magic deep within. This product is going to make my skin look a lot brighter, which I have to say it really has. Right now, I'm on my iPhone. I have a ring light behind me and the smallest frosted glass window. That's it, I'm in my bathroom. So you can see that my skin really is quite glowy and it's going to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, which is a huge issue for me. I hate this. You can almost see that it's starting to come out. <laughs> Gonna have to get that Botox again. But I have these little lines right here that I can't stand when I stop smiling sometimes. I can still, well, I used to be able to still see them because I'm using the right stuff, they really have minimized. Also the same with the marionette lines and any mouth lines, that any lines you have around your mouth, this is going to help to really, really, really reduce them. Plump them up, even out your skin tone, get rid of sun damage, and just make your skin glow. This product also has turmeric in it, which has additional brightening uh, powers, I'm gonna say, and it has a lot of hydrators, it has hyaluronic acid, so it's gonna plump up the skin. Now, if you're someone that has very dry skin and you feel like your skin also just has a lot of lines in it, you might wanna use a little bit extra hyaluronic acid on top. I found this product, I wanna bathe in this stuff. This is the hyaluronic concentrate from the Chemistry brand. This is the same company, parent company as The Ordinary, and it's literally a tub of hyaluronic acid. So this is a wonderful humectant. Let's see if I can. This is a wonderful serum. This is just basically going to plump up your skin, hold on to water within your skin, and keep your skin hydrated all day long. Sometimes I'll put this on my face, sometimes I won't. It could just depend on whether I really need that last 10 seconds to get myself out of the house sooner to go somewhere, I'll skip it. But I try to always put it on because it's just an additional hydrator and at 39 years old with dry skin, you're gonna take what you can get. So now I have my serums on and I gotta focus on these eyes. I've discovered this product. I'm kind of hesitant to show you just in case you're not in Dubai. <clears throat> Sorry, in Dubai. But this is the Sante Eye Rescue Eye Serum. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is full of antioxidants and it's very emollient. So it's going to just really treat that under eye area. It also treats dark circles and puffiness. Puffiness I don't really have. I do have a little bit of darkening here and here, not bad. But I do know that there are a few people who have bought this in Dubai based off my recommendation and they are just raving about it and said that it does make their dark circles disappear. I like it because it gives me that extra boost of hydration. It's going to, once again, target those fine lines and wrinkles. And I notice when I use this, my concealer isn't settling into those little lines. So for me, that's huge. Now, if you're not in Dubai, you don't have access to this. There are other eye serums out there that are great, and I personally really like the Biosounce one. And the Biosounce one is packed with peptides, so it's going to give you a lot of firming benefits. Peptides are my best friends. So I will link that down below just in case you wanna use the Biosounce one. I've used the Bio, gosh, I've probably used, without exaggerating, at least seven or eight tubs can of, uh, bottles of the Biosense eye serum. I just happened to get my hands on this one and I loved it. And it's a Dubai based brand. It's a small brand owned by women. So of course I want to support them. When I made a reel about it on my Instagram, the product sold out. <laughs> so they just restocked it and I think it's going to sell out again. People just, you know, Women just are focused on the eyes. So that's all I do. I mean, and that serum's on. Now I do layer it with an eye cream on top and that's just because my dry skin. So the one that I love to use is this one. It's by Pestle and Mortar. Now this is an Irish brand. If you don't have access to this one online, I will show you another one to use that I'm sure you will have access to and it is the Sunday Riley Auto Correct. Both of these are amazing eye creams. I love this one just because I've gotten my hands on it recently. It's 
widely available in Dubai and the ingredients in it are just fantastic. It's incredibly hydrating, it's moisturizing, and it's packed with peptides. The autocorrect is also a wonderful eye cream. Once again, packed with moisturizers, hydrators. It treats dark circles and puffiness. The ingredients in both of these are fantastic. So I'm gonna use one on each eye just so you can see if there's a difference and see if maybe you feel like one would be better for you than the other. That's about as much as you need per eye. That's probably even a little bit too much. Now I'm really careful not to get products in my eyes because I have this habit of being a bit messy and I can actually get oils in my eyes sometimes and then I can't see. So I just try really hard to make sure I tap this in gently and don't get this into my eye. Sometimes I like to do it up here too and just really get that, that area. And now for the Sunday Riley one. It's hard when you're only trying to get enough for one eye. I think I did it way too much so I'm just gonna kind of half that. And this is another great one if your eyes are a trouble spot for you because I feel like it also, not only does it treat the fine lines and help eradicate them to lessen them, minimize their appearance, but it's really great one to use if you wear concealer foundation during the day and you feel like your makeup is making your, your eye area look a little bit old. If you've ever had that happen to you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This one is a great one. This one has a little bit of a, there's an ingredient in it. I can't think of what it is offhand, but it kind of illuminates the under eye area a little bit. So you can see how there's a slight, slight illumination. Okay, so we have the face cream. I'm sorry, we're doing face cream next. I just blew it. So what I do for my face cream is a little bit crazy, but this is what works for me. I combine one pump of the Drunk Elephant Poly, Pro Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, packed with peptides, ultra firming, with one pump of the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This one is packed with ceramides. So ceramides are an integral part of our skin barrier and they're moisturizers. They're going to help just keep our skin nice and soft. So for me, I found that when I mix these two together, it is the most potent combination for my skin. I do this both morning and night. Not the cheapest eye cream, but it, it works for me. So I give each bottle a pump so if you see that, and then I do the same with the other one. And I literally just take off, usually I don't do it like this, but I'm doing it for the camera, like this. So I have the two creams on my hand and I mix them together and I just give my skin so much love. I try to, always go up. I try, I forget all the time, but I do try to go up. And I find that this is just for me, the perfect combination of moisturizers, humectants, emollients, which is sort of like the trifecta of moisturizing your face. You wanna have ingredients from all those categories. It has a lot of anti-agers in it and peptides for firming the skin and it just works so incredibly well on my face. I wish they were cheaper. Trust me, I wish they were cheaper. They're not, but until I find something better or make something myself, that's what I'm using. So that is my morning skincare routine, but I am not done because the most important thing in my opinion is sunscreen, sunblock. Why do I keep saying sunscreen? SPF. Now there are mineral uh, sunblocks, there are chemical sunblocks. Oops. I use chemical. That's because I am incredibly fair. I live in the Middle East and I sweat. And if you have a mineral sunscreen, once you sweat, that is off your skin and your skin's exposed. A chemical sunscreen is going to sink into your skin. It absorbs the rays and it converts them to heat and then they dissipate from your skin without damaging you. For me, that is a much better option. So, Please do not message me and say anything about mineral and chemical sunscreens. I did one video on them and the 
the rage was real. But for me, this is what works. And my sunscreen that I, sunblock that I swear by is the Super Goop Play SPF 50. This is a broad spectrum sunscreen. It gets UVA and UVB rays. So it's going to get the UVB rays that actually burn your skin, the UVA rays, which are the silent damagers or the ones that ruin your collagen. And it's going to protect your skin. I use this over my entire body. There is not one area <laughs> of my body that's not touched by this during the day, mostly. And I swear by this, I use it on my face. I use it everywhere. So I give about one good pump, sometimes a little bit more. And oh, I love this stuff. It's also packed. This works as skincare. It's packed with a bunch of hydrators and moisturizers. So it's like putting an extra dose of all those great ingredients on your face. It absorbs really well, works wonderfully under makeup. Do one more for my chest. And this is just, I think the reason why my skin has stayed so incredibly youthful. It's not cheap, but let me tell you, it is 110% worth it. And I do reapply during the day. If I'm wearing makeup, I have a few little tricks to be able to reapply while still keeping my skin protected. I'll do another video on that. But that is my morning skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't tell you how incredibly fulfilled I feel right now <laughs> making this video and restarting this YouTube channel, reinvigorating it. I like reinvigorating it, that's a good word. So for the time being, I am going to direct you here. This is my evening skincare routine.